doing this great job of mine, working in the world of showbiz that we all love, lots of people always ask you, you know, who are your favourite stars, that sort of stuff. And it's not normally the stars that people assume are going to be the ones that you like. One of my favourites, which I want to talk to, to you about today, is the one and only the brilliant Mr Mike Winters of Mike and Bernie Winters fame. Now, I get kind of annoyed, you know, because when you look at great comedy duos, everybody always thinks of, of course, Eric and Ernie, who were supreme, you know, the absolute best, loved them. But there were other people as well out and about in the same period that were actually, you know, cracking pots and making big uh, steps forward in the world of comedy. I was lucky enough to meet uh, Mike Winters and Bernie on a number of occasions, uh, most notably uh, when I was a, a very young boy on the North Pier in Blackpool. They're, I think they were doing their very final summer season and there was a little bit of animosity between them. You could sense that even as a young kid. But then fast forward a few years ago, I was uh, lucky enough to sit down with Mike for a very lengthy chat for a US TV channel. Uh, Mike was in here to promote um, his book, uh, The Sunny Side of Winters, and it was a riot of fun, uh, basically because, you know, Mike was a little bit concerned that I wouldn't know that much about his career, obviously not realising that I was a fan. Uh, now, when he arrived, you know, he was uh, so sweet and kind and very warm, very welcoming, but he came with this lady who was the promotions lady for the book, and uh, whether she was tired or not or whatever happened, but literally <laughs> she sat in the gallery of the TV channel and fell asleep <laughs> during our chat chat that we've gone on so long. Um, the reason why, as I say, I wanted to bring up Mike is because we recently tried to pitch that idea uh, to celebrate their comedy uh, legend, as it were, to many different TV channels. They all turned them down. And I found that baffling that certain people uh, still sort of stay in the minds of the great British public and worldwide. I mean, the recent documentary of um, Larry Grayson was very interesting, but, you know, why do they have the people that have not really actually worked with Larry Grayson? Why do they actually go to the people who say, oh, I just liked him. Surely the insight comes from the people who actually worked with them. So that's the reason why I've brought up uh, Mike Winters today, because very soon we're going to be working on putting together that interview of what we did. Mike talks um, at length about his early career and starting out at the Cumberland Hotel in London where he appeared with Bernie in a band. Uh, of course, there were two mu musicians uh, and uh, very good at it too. You know, Mike's clarinet playing was excellent as we all remember. And then of course, he broke through into showbiz. But the funny stories that you will see soon, uh, which did make me laugh out loud, apparently when they first went to Blackpool, uh, they were so bad that George and Alfred Black, of course, the Supreme producer of that time for the big summer shows knew they were dying but they used to go into the back of the Palace Theatre in Blackpool and just sit and snigger knowing how badly they were doing and Mike said that when they actually went to them and said look you know we're doing that badly why don't you just let us go and they said oh no no it's much more fun to keep you here there were some great insights too of the golden days of variety uh, Mike talks about how he would um, <laughs> share get the caravan site uh, at um, uh, in Blackpool with uh, the the other caravan neighbour, which was, of course, Frankie Vaughan. And the year previously, he'd been starring in a movie with Marilyn Monroe called Let's Make Love. So can you imagine how strange that would have been? Uh, the height of Hollywood, all that glamour, and then suddenly uh, you're in a, in a caravan at the top end, the South Shore end of Blackpool. Of course, now, Mike, you know, uh, eventually left the group or, you know, the, the, the GOO and decided he wanted to do other things. Bernie went on to great success by hooking up with the dog, Schnorbitz. We all remember him don't we uh, and then of course you know they did sort of kiss and make up you know I did ask Mike in this interview did you then become friends again and he said look we never really fell out we were two typical brothers who had those moments where we just couldn't get along they'd been very successful for a very long time and apparently uh, according to Mike they broke box office records in the middle 60s uh, when of course they were at uh, summer season in Great Yarmouth you have to remember, of course, as well, that Mike and Bernie had their own TV show, Blackpool Night Out, which was a huge success. Uh, and, of course, does have a bit of Beatles trivia because that show uh, was the show that the Beatles went on to debut yesterday, uh, which, of course, we all know as a brilliant song now. But can you imagine me, the first people to hear that in the afternoon run through? And let's not forget, of course, Lionel Blair was pivotal uh, by providing the choreography and, of course, the Lionel Blair dancers, which we all adore at that time. Uh, Mike did say though that the turning point for him in Variety was when they had to go and do the clubs and, and while he enjoyed the clubs he said it wasn't as great for him 
as those beautiful theatres that were all getting knocked down along the way. Of course, you know, they both appeared at the uh, Battle Variety Club. Uh, you know, they did things like the Talk of the North, stuff like that. But consequently, he said it just wasn't the same for him. That was the reason really why he decided to get out and go into property development uh, over in uh, the US of A. But yeah, Mike, you know, Winters, to me, along with Bernie, were two of the comedy oh. greats. So, you know, as I say, for a fan, for me, it's important that we do consider other stars that made our variety stages really sparkle. And for that, let's give a bit of a salute to the one and only Mike and Bernie Winters.